think I discovered it already when I was a little boy. I think children have a natural inclination to be meditative and contemplative. And uh, <clears throat> I discovered how pleasant and joyful it was and peaceful to just sit and be quiet. Good to have an external environment that is quiet, that makes it easier to go into the inner stillness. It doesn't depend on it, but nature has a, its own stillness that helps very much to foster the inner stillness. When you really go deep inside, you come in contact with something that goes beyond words and you cannot really describe it. I would speak of a, a vast wideness, uh, openness, something like the desert, uh, the sand dunes or the s <coughs> starry sky by night, this openness and uh, spaciousness and stillness, great stillness. I think I feel energized and focused and uh, clear. Uh, I don't feel too much of a tension between the two states. Uh, the going inside is more like uh, taking a firm stand on the on the rock on which you stand, and then you stand up and and you act. The two are very closely connected with one another, but. Uh, I'm calmer and, and more uh, ready to act when after I have gone inside. When I go within myself, I feel that I have discovered something over which death has no power. Uh, life and death are constant change, but I have found something that is one and unchanging uh, inside.